Hi there, Cancerians. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at July 6 through July 12. And happy birthday to all of those Cancerians celebrating their special day this week. A mixed bag of powerful energies and personal emotions is about to descend upon us all this week. On Monday, July 6, the life-giving sun arrives at its once-a-year opposition with transformative Pluto. Depending on which side you choose, this is the day when you can either make a major power play or prepare to defend yourself from a major takeover. This face-off is a dress rehearsal for next week's battle between Pluto and Mars. On Wednesday, July 8, when Mercury moves into Cancer, joining the Sun and joining Mars, the spark plug of the Zodiac, our ways of thinking and speaking become less rational and more subjective and instinctual. This kind of emotional influence could be a drawback for those of you who do need to be cool-headed and rational. But on the other hand, it's the perfect time to use your gut instincts. Of course, you being a water sign and you being very much in tune with your intuition, you and Pisces and Scorpios are the most intuitive signs of the zodiac. You, you know when to push forward, pull back, speak, be silent, press the send button on your email or text or don't. So the subjective thought patterns of this planet sign combination affects travel, communication and commerce over the next couple of weeks. Now, Cancerians, your once a year new moon occurs next week on the 15th. So whatever it is you're struggling with now, and whoever it is you're struggling with now, you're going to get a very sound uh, signal from the universe about what to do about the person or the situation. And you're going to get the guidance you need to deal with it and to make things as good as they can be. I'm not going to say that the new moon in your sign is a magic wand that you will wave and that all your troubles will disappear because obviously that's not true for anybody. But new moons really are good starts to things. So let's hope that this time next week you will be feeling in a much more uh, stable place. Just know that Pluto the planet of transformation is in Capricorn, your opposite sign. So anything to do with relationships and partnerships. You could be up against your partner in something and you could be arguing over something that means a lot to you and means a lot to him. Now, where are you going to meet? Well, you have to try and meet in the middle because, you know, if, if uh, neither of you is going to allow the other to have whatever it is you want them to, to want they what they want to have you have to find a sweet meeting point and that's something that you need to be working on and making sure that you can not only be happy about but that you can actually thrive in moderation balance and going with your gut is the best way to do this week and next week have a wonderful time, Cancerians. Be kind to yourself, and I'll speak to you again next week.